I came for you. It's been a long time. I'm out of the hospital. To all you people who sent me cards and letters and your prayers, they carried me through the night. They honestly did. I felt them so much and they carried me through. For the first time in two months, I've been able to actually eat a meal. I'm a long ways from freaking out of the woods and I've got a long ways and I'll be going through, a, I'll be back in the hospital going through a lot of regiments but I gotta go home for a few days. I'm alive. I am alive. And my rants and my raves as I fucking carried on and went crazy about Fukushima as you people fucking know, if that was not my subconscious screaming fucking out to humanity if that was not my subconscious reading that fucking cancer is fucking embedding to all of us and then it appears to me I don't know what the fuck is. If that, my path has not woke people up to environmental fucking poisoning, nothing had. My soul was screaming out. There's a reason. I told you guys before when Fukushima happened it just popped in my head, you know, and I just let my subconscious take over. My subconscious, I've talked to a lot of the doctors about this, you know, such an ironic thing. I honestly believe the environmental poisoning, as they marched my father into the trench and they nuked him to death. As he was nuked in 1954, a human fucking guinea pig by the United States fucking government. 40,000 men murdered and fucking lied about and denied. His fucking body was raging with plutonium as I was conceived. There is no doubt my body has been fighting radiation from my birth. I've talked to these doctors about it, these theories of mine. As I Fukushima happened, it's no coincidence that it just burst out of me. And I said, fuck every word, and I rant and rave. As that fucking story had been embedded in me before I was conceived. Look, nuclear fucking fallout is a cumulative. It's no coincidence my hospital room looked out over the University of Utah. Where Richard Miller did compiled his work, as I've ranted and raved about all these, these, these cannot be coincidences. They cannot be coincidences. That is my soul. Someone is freaking coming to me and screaming out that this fucking environmental poison is murdering us. Look. You know how anti-nuke I am. You know that I'm educated about it. You know that I know what I'm talking about. I quote Sokolov. I quote, you know, Einstein. I quote, you know, I talk about the Tsar bomb. I talk about Oppenheimer. I talk a lot about I talk about the spent fuel rods spent on fucking site and sitting there. Look. This is fucking murdered people. My, my, and the medical system in this country is a fucking nightmare. How I'm alive, I've had one miracle. I honestly have. They misdiagnosed me. My bowel was constricted. Tumors wrapped around in a very acute situation. No food, water, basically for weeks. Fucking sent home from emergency rooms. Fuckhead doctors, pieces of shit who just didn't fucking care. Finally, a brilliant, we have some brilliant fucking doctors in here. And you people that are calling, why don't you seek alternative medicines? Why? I had no fucking choice. I was so acute. When people have acute AML, when they land in these fucking AML centers, they are all but dead. We are all but dead. We are on fucking death's doorstep. And it's the cancer that is raging our body that is killing us. It is attacking our organs. We don't have time. Oh, let's go on some Are you kidding me? We're in there ready to fucking die. And then we have these wonderful fucking doctors and these credible nurses save our fucking lives. As we were on the edge. I was on the edge. I brushed fucking death. I brushed its fucking edge. It just changed my perspective 100%. And you guys' prayers and you guys' cards that were sent all over. I'm making me this special thing out of all the cards to me. They made me cry every day. But they kept me alive. They kept me alive. I felt your prayers. I honest to God did. I felt them. You know, your emails that you sent me, you know, as I was able to have a laptop. I haven't been able to. I will not give up my YouTube site. I am not dead. I've had to my first meal. I'm down to 138 pounds. I've been to the brink. I've been to the freaking edge. You know, and I'm going to come back up. And to all you people who have cancer and loved ones with cancers, my heart bleeds so hard for you. You know, it is not fair and it is not right. And we got to quit fucking just taking it. We have to just quit taking it. To the Occupy Wall Street movement, as I watch you guys on TV in Oakland and in Cal, I've never been more proud of a people in my life. And we've sat and taken it for 30, 40 years. You people are standing up and fighting. You are fighting to the fucking pepper sprayed phony fuckers in their fucking gear. And the fucking corporate white card. This is not about fucking redistribution of wealth. Yeah, that's what it's been for 30 years that they've robbed. This is about cheating. This is about cheating and fucking lying as we have a one-party fucking system. As they won't even address fucking tariffs. 
We have not one serious progressive left in all of fucking Washington. So we're that the kids, the young people, as they fucking take it on and they fight these motherfuckers. That's what should have been happening for 30 years. We've got to fight as cancer patients, as these people kill us, as they have Fukushima spent fuel rods or spent on something. We've got to fight. We've got to stand up and fight, scream, yell, rant, rant. I'm trying. I'm trying. I bleed out. You know, I am not, you have not seen the fucking last of me. I am not fucking dead. I am not dead. I'm on the way back. I'm going to live. I, I know in my soul I'm going to live. And I'm going to fight this nuclear fucking animal fucking cause. It is fucking an evil, evil fucking beast. It is accumulating. P plutonium's half-life is 2,000 years. We have leaks every day in these plants. Spent fuel rods, spent outside. And you just keep going with this fucking shit. The media, you scumbag fucking... CNN are fucking terrorists. They are fucking terrorists. They sit and say, oh... Look at these poor people in Syria marching, they're getting killed. But when we do it here, when we do it here, they send this piece of shit Arab and that used to work for Goldman Sachs, this confused sexual freak bitch, they send her down here to delegitimize her. Seriously, as she tries to mock, you couldn't make a fucking pimple on fucking Meyer's ass, you dumb bitch. Look, it is time we fucking fight. We don't sit back, you know, if they kill us, we kill us. You know, we fight, we do everything we can. Kevin Blanche, you have not heard the last of me. I will be back in the hospital many times over. I have a long, long war fight to these brilliant doctors and brilliant have saved my life one time. And me screaming out in this Fukushima, if this fucking story of mine and this path that I have in my YouTube site does not fucking wake anybody up, I don't know what the fuck will wake up. As my scream as my soul has screamed out about the nuclear fucking nightmare. That fucking, I was fucking born with it. I was given it to it before I was even fucking conceived. That is the evil fucking monster. My body has been fighting it since the day I was fucking born, there's no doubt. It was in my father's, he was nuked. They fucking sprayed plutonium all over us. We're born with these fucking diseases. Man fucking made the dumbest idea in the history of the world. Nuclear, they need to all go. Kevin Blanche.